Hey y'all, it's your girl Miss Lauren here and we're about to continue with analyzing Dr. Umar's supporters. So remember we are in, we're finishing up with this lovely lady here y'all. I could not let her finish after that live. So we're just going to finish up with her and then we're going to jump into the next one. I hope at some point in this next one with the new person that we see somebody actually working on the school, okay? The contractors like he's saying in the title. Let's hope we see them. All right guys, enjoy. Okay. It's so painful. And text me, and I'm gonna call you, and we're gonna talk a little bit more about what you need to do. And I'm gonna get you somebody in Detroit. My uh, Detroit chapter president, a uh, provisional president, Sister Julie. I oh might have her give God. you a call. She might have okay. the lies. Oh, yeah. Okay. But <laughs> remember, don't sign no paperwork if you don't want them in no special class. Ooh, child. Okay. Going up that way. Oh, that's just the vow. Come on up that way, the walkway. All right, hit me up, and we're going to talk some more. Don't sign okay. those papers. Why would you okay. tell her that? Right. I just yeah. don't understand this bad advice, still. Hopefully, this next person, guys, is going to be good. Sister Val is in the building. Oh, Sister Val. Hey, girl, who's this? Coming through the building. Whoop. Where's she at? Hey, All Sister. Right. Okay, hey, Sister Val and your hey, little princess. Hey. Donate to the school. What's the answer, Sister Val? They said, did you ever donate to the school? Like a fool. Look at that. Looking like a fool. Wait, where you going? Talk to the phone first. You don't want to be on the phone. You here. Tell Bye, Val. Because our children need it. Our black people need it. We need it. This is our time. 2020 is our time. We do. Go ahead then. You can take a look. Go you ahead. guys, we do need it. I'm not going to say that. We do need it, but this is not <laughs> it. This ain't. We need it, but this ain't it. All right, y'all? Uh, let's continue. Go ahead, princess. No, don't touch it, princess. Oh, don't touch anything over there, my princess. This one, she really should have had some gloves on. Girl, I wouldn't have let her touch nothing. Not a ting. Look. So where the contract is at, Umar? Baby Justin, where you at? Going once. Baby Justin, there you go. What's up? <laughs> okay, he looks Maggie, decent. Hey, Maggie, Justin. Justin man, hey, honey. Man, where, where you at in the world? Where you at in the world? What city? Atlanta, Georgia. I met you at the Shrine of the Black Madonna. I think I remember you. Yes, sir. I think I remember you. Y'all really we think... Y'all think Umar remembers him? Poor... This poor kid. Y'all, he don't look like the other ones. He look like he got a little something to him. Let's give him a chance. Let's see. He got no Georgia training. For the Black Parent Association, I don't know what happened with that, <laughs> but you know I'll be coming back to ATL soon. You know how that go, me and ATL. Please know, don't. We, we all right. Day. Yeah, yeah, man. We enjoyed your presence too, bro. We enjoyed your energy, brother. Oh man, that's love. That's love. What's on your mind today, Black man? Well, yo, I just wish he would have like. <laughs> No, I'm not gonna say it. All right. <laughs> we fighting sex trafficking down here, man. This oh is a, man, this are you a... serious? Yeah, we we fight sex trafficking uh, oh, through the leadership of Zario Sunrise. If y'all can look at him, uh, Zario underscore Sunrise, you know, uh, that's what we're doing down here, man. And, uh, you know, it, it's a problem. You oh, know what man, saying? I didn't you know, know Atlanta. I, I mean, I know Atlanta had a big, you know, homosexual HIV issue. I didn't know about the sex That's so ignorant. That is so ignorant to say. Oh, my gosh. That's so ignorant to say. Why would you say that on here? Oh man, this is this is this is where it's commercialized. It's it's, wow. it's not like the main part, but this is where it's commercialized. And I just encourage everybody to really, man, keep your antennas up, man, and you know it, it help each other out. I've been doing my part, man. At least he's he sound like he got sense, y'all. Give him that. It's not I don't. It's not as bad as we thought. He's he, he's well spoken. Let's not do him. He's well spoken. Let's just see how this conversation goes, though. You know, taking money out my pocket. You know, giving it to people, you know, I know that need it more than I do. You know, I don't have right. to do that. You know, I've been trying to uh, be a mentor to, to young young men and women. You know, and just females is, 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 is guys, is, is little boys, too. Yes, yes, we yes. Had, we, had, we, had, we had people who done saved girls, but they said they done got some boys off the streets. Yeah, y'all, this is a real, real talk that he's talking. I respect it. I actually respect what he's saying. He's not as bad as the other ones. But I just don't think that he's aware of who he's dealing with or talking to. <laughs> That's the problem. Who's being right. passed around? It, it's right. crazy, man. You know, it's, it, it's nuts. 
you know, and, and, and the government is in on it, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's just what right. we're fighting. You know what I'm saying? We just need our black men to stand up and stand firm. You know what I'm saying? Man, right. You, got, you right. got a kid. You got a child, bro. Oh, Stay in what? his life. I told you, y'all. Wait a minute. He's giving vital advice, y'all. I like him. He's giving vital advice. Let's see if ooh, he's giving Umar the advice up here. Let's see what he got to say about taking care of your kids, Umar. Your kids you ain't seen, and we don't know nothing about. Let's see. Stop playing games, right. bro. Stop having these sisters do all the work, bro. Sacrifice right. what you need to sacrifice, because one day that child's going to... I hate that when people be like, that's right, yeah. Real talk, a hundred. And look. Sir, we know for a fact that you have you're Omar Johnson is really sad. Is really sad as a parent. And grow up and realize the world that they live in, and then the efforts that you put in, it may not be that you got a whole lot of money, but the fact that you've given that energy back into the child, man, they're gonna that's recognize right. that. You know that's what I'm real. saying? That's and real they, right there. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, you know, that's what we fight down here in Atlanta, man. And we got enough. Uh, um, you know, this is this the hub of Martin Luther King, and yes, you know sir. what I'm saying. We, yes, sir. I visit that grave. Not only is Dr. King buried in Atlanta, Bishop Henry. People be trying to like say stuff to him, and he just goes off on a tangent. Why? McNeil Turner, one of the grandfathers of Pan Africanism, the first black man to say God was black, is buried in Atlanta, Georgia, bro. I visit his grave and Dr. King grave every time I'm in town. Thanks. Hey, I need to write that name down. Yeah, write you know? that down. <laughs> Bishop Henry McNeil Turner, M C N E A L. Henry McNeil Turner. He was a bishop of the AME Church. He was a bishop, okay. and he and he was the first one to say God was black. He was one of the first black men elected to office during Reconstruction. That period, right after slavery, they call him Marcus Garvey before Marcus Garvey. If that tells you anything, they call him Marcus Garvey before Marcus Garvey. That's that's interesting. He's right buried there. in the same cemetery with Dr. King's mother and father. Oh wow! Well, yeah, I need you got to check him out. Bishop yeah, Turner man. was a bad man. He's one of our first leaders who had to travel with full time security because the KKK wanted to lynch him. Thanks, oh, Uma. Man. Wow. He got a, listen. He got up on the uh, on the state uh, legislature floor. I think it was South Carolina or Georgia, and he called the United States flag a stinking. I think he. Re he re he rehearses these things because, really, oh good God! A dirty rag. Two hundred years before Colin Kaepernick protested. Woo. In the eighteen hundreds, he called the United States flag a stinking dirty rag, bro. Check out Bishop Turner, and guess what? The Honorable Elijah Muhammad attended his grade school when he was a child. That's where he got the idea that God was a black man from Bishop Turner to Pan Africa. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yes, that's sir. deep. That's deep. That's heavy yes, right sir. there, man. That's heavy, man. Well, I appreciate you. See, does anybody have the accuracy of that? I just want to make sure. Does anybody know? If that's accurate, okay, y'all. Thank you for the knowledge. But this poor dude thinks that Umar came up with that. Or he, you know what I mean? He really thinks that that's something that Umar actually, like, studied. <laughs> Your uh, time, brother. You know what I'm saying? I'm just you got just... my number, bro? You got my number? Yeah, you, you said it. Okay. You said it. Yeah, y'all. <laughs> you guys, I like him. And I don't think that this one was staged because I like him, but I think I'm not sure if he need a breva or if he needs just some Vaseline for his lips. But other than that, y'all, he gave up a good, like, he a, a mature and intelligent. I mean, you know what I mean? This is not like the basic Umar supporters. And he has the phone number, child. He don't need no pen. I love it. Yeah. Okay. Keep, keep, keep me linked up, man. We got to do something in Atlanta. Just let me know when you want to make it happen. Yes, sir. All right, now. All right, brother. Be safe. Look at the lady in the back. Wait. Hey, girl. She looking. She can't take the... She, she like, oh, my God. I need some fresh air. It stank back there. Girl. How you doing, sister? One love to you. Princess, how you doing? Mm -mm. Open it back up? Yes, ma'am. We're going to open it back up. It's going to be a school for black boys, but it's going to be independent. <laughs> you guys, it's to the point where people on the street are asking him, are you opening this back up? <laughs> and this is his response. Hold up. It won't be a charter school. It won't be a public school. Mm -hmm. It's going to be an independent African school. Yes. We're going to teach them how to. Yes. An independent African school that will be open on Never Weary First, y'all. Okay, get ready for it. Okay, ready, honey. Grow their own food, how to build their own computers, 
We're going to teach them how to respect black women. We're going to teach them Ooh. how to be men. Okay, well, respecting black women would start somewhere with not disrespecting them as you always do. Thanks. I'm glad you said that. And we're going to teach them how to speak African language. They're going to know how to cook food. They're going to know how to clean. They're going to understand money, stock market, banking, real estate, investments. Bye. Yes, indeed. Sounds this good. Be heaven on earth. Give us Sounds a few great. Months, we can be ready for you. In a few more months, y'all, that's going to happen, y'all. This was in what January. You think, Val? I see you back there. Thank you. What's on your mind? It stank in there and it's dirty. It? And she don't want her child in there, which is why the child is outside. They beautiful it is. They be hating on the school. They don't know we got a beautiful piece of love, gorgeous. Ugh. They don't know we got a beautiful school. They don't even know. Watch when we had a grand opening and they walk and see how modern this school is, how big them rooms is. They don't even know what we got. Diamond in the rough. Diamond in the rough. Yeah. I need an yeah. electrician. Ooh. I need a serious electrician. I Ladies and gentlemen, I just want everybody to know that trained electricians have messaged this man and tried to get in contact to do his school for free. He could not come up with the proper documents. Just so y'all know. Out there, do we have any electricians? Licensed, bonded, certified, commercial electrician. I need no, an thanks. electrician. Where y'all at? Oh, Lordy. Peace this and is love, bad. bro. I know we got some electricians out there. This is really bad. No, I am not. Dr. Umar Johnson is not married. I am not married. I am not married, but I will be one day. Good. I'm going to have two wives. Nope. I already told you that. All two right. queens. Mm -hmm. They can't be the same complexion, though, because I don't want to be accused of being a dark-skinned supremacist. A See, y'all, he just got done saying respecting women. This is not respecting women. Light-skinned supremacist or a brown skin supremacist. So one queen might be pina colada, the other queen oh might be Oh my God, this is so one offensive. one queen might be caramel, the other queen might be brown sugar. One queen might, might be lemonade, the other queen might be caramel. They can't be the same complexion, ladies, because I don't want to be com uh, accused of being a dark skin supremacist, a light skin supremacist, or... You guys, I have to stop it right here. I'm so disgusted by that. I really have a problem when black people, like colorize you know what i mean like try to i just have a real issue with that so i'm just gonna stop the video here guys i'm so offended <laughs> you just got done saying how you respect black women why that's not appropriate at all to be saying and you're opening up a school and there's a little young queen right beside you it's a young lady right beside you Oh, my gosh. Y'all, I can't take this. It's your girl, Miss Lauren. We're going to continue tomorrow. Thank you for all your support. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm out.